Today's topic is simple equations, uh, chapter 7, exercise 7.3. So first, uh, before we start uh, solving this math, first we will uh, know some definition of what is graph. In math, a graph can be defined as a pictorial representation or a diagram that represents data or values in an organized manner. It describes the relationship between lines and points. Famous mathematician René Descartes of France gave first the idea of coordinates. And here, this suppose the point of A here given X and Y, X and Y, it can be any number, positive, negative, two, three, four, five, whatever. So this X, we can tell this number is called abscissa and the Y, which one is called ordinate. And the, the point of A, that is X, Y, this one X, Y is called coordinate. Now, what is plotting of points? On a graph paper, there are small equal squares made by horizontal and vertical parallel lines. To show the position of points or to plot a points in a graph paper is called plotting of points. That is how to plot the points. We, we need to know this one. This one is graph paper. And this line, uh, we know this line is horizontal and vertical line. So X, O, X prime and y o y prime and this line is called horizontal line and this line is called vertical line and this line will plot this two point a and b and a here minus two and three so this uh, when vertical and horizontal line intersect at uh, o that at that time the graph is divided into four parts or four quadrants okay so this one is called first quadrant always this value will be plus plus maybe you did not understand second quadrant minus plus third quadrant minus minus and fourth quadrant will be plus minus okay how is it actually now a is equal to minus two and three this one is minus and three is plus so minus and plus that means this one minus and plus so this point this value of a that means this point it will go this second quadrant okay this one is plus three and minus one so plus minus so plus minus which one this one plus minus that means this point will go in fourth quadrant okay fourth quadrant means fourth part this part plus and minus so now how can you this one we have to know this so in x x x in the right side always it will go to positive number and which one is negative that means when the abscissa is plus we have to go to the right side in x axis when abscissa is minus is this uh, two is minus here this abscissa is minus at this time we have to go to the left side in x axis and when ordinate is plus we have to go to the upper side okay and ordinate is minus we have to go to the lower side lower part so by this way we have to plot this point so here given a minus two and three so one two one two yes this uh, abscissa is minus so we have to go to the left side from zero so one two this one is zero point okay from zero we have to go to this side so one two and uh, ordinary is uh, plus so we have to go to the upper side so one two three so this point will be here so just we have to write uh, this point minus two and three so same way um, this point of b we have to place here three and minus one so one two three okay In this one abscissa is plus so we have to go to the right side and uh, ordinary is minus so we have to go to the lower part okay in y-axis so one is here so that's that's why this point will be here so just write my three and minus one like this way you have to plot the points now let's go on to this math job 13 is here given 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 and we have to solve 
and show the solution in graphs also. So first we have to solve this maths. So 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 are given. Of this one, just take x in the right side, left side, and 2x minus x, and this one we have to take in the right side, then 1 will be minus, right? And 3 is also here given minus, so 2x minus x, it will be x. And this one, when you take, the, that one is called transposition law, right? So 2x minus x, it will be x, and minus 3 and minus 1, it will be minus 4. When you get the same sign, you have to add. So x is equal to minus 4. The required solution is x is equal to minus 4. Now uh, 2x plus 1 and x minus 3, there are two parts. So first we will uh, solve two first part, that means the in right part, okay? And left of there are two parts. So uh, give an equation, 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 3. First we will take any value of x and then we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3. So that's why you need to find, uh, we need to draw two box, two table. So taking some different values of x and we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1 and x minus 3 and make a joining table 1 and table 2 respectively. Okay, let's see how to take this one. Table 1. So if I take first x and x at uh, 2x plus 1, uh, already I have told that means uh, first we will take the value of x and we will find the corresponding value of 2x plus 1. So x comma 2x plus 1. So any value we can take of x, that means if I take, uh, suppose the value is 3. So if I take 3 uh, in place of x, so it will be 3 towards 6 like this. 3 towards suppose 2x plus 1 now we have to find this value so if this x value we have to take uh, as your wish whatever you will take that one will be right so when you take the value of x this this value we have to take uh, we have to place in 2x plus 1 that means i have written here 2x plus 1 that means uh, the instead of x we have um, i have written uh, 3 that means 3 towards 6 plus 1 it will be 7 3 to 6 plus 1 7 so just we have to write here 7 have you understood how uh, how uh, uh, how have i got this one 7 so like this uh okay, if i take the value of x is uh suppose uh, minus 4 so it will be minus 7 so now check minus 4 Minus 4 and 2, if you multiply, then it will be 8, uh, 8 plus 1, it will be minus 7. The same way, you have to just find the value of 2. If I take 2, 2, 2, or 4 plus 1, it will be 5. So just write here 2, 5. This one, uh, take 3 points just uh, on the graph paper. Uh, on the graph of 2x plus 1, just uh, we got this point. The same way, we have to find the table 2. And that one is x first we will take and x minus 3. So first we will take the value of x, then we will find the value of x minus 3. So I have taken the value of x is 3, so it will be 0. So maybe your telling, sir, you have taken first table is 3, second table is also 3. No, you can take any value of x. 3, if I so it will be 0. 3 minus 3, it will be 0. So 3 comma 0 we can add 3 comma 0 this two value we have to write all together so minus 4 if i take uh, minus 4 the value of x is minus 4 so it will minus 4 if i take so minus 4 minus 3 it will be minus 7 so just minus 4 minus 7 just together we have to write here so if i take 5 so it will be 5 minus 3 it will be 2 so just write 5 comma 2 and these three points on the graph paper of uh, on the graph of x minus 3 we have to plot this points in a graph paper now this graph paper uh, first you have to draw that means x o x prime and y o y prime okay this one is first table x and x 2x plus 1 and x comma 2x plus 1 already you have got this value uh, these three points we have to uh, plot in this graph paper so here given 3 and 7, so 3 and 7, how to plot this point, so 1, 2, 3 and 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so this point will be here. Okay, 3, 7 here, that's why you have to plot in, in this point. 
So then minus four and minus seven. So this one is both one is minus. So it will be go to the third quadrant already here. Learn this one, right? So minus four, that means in X axis, FCZ is minus. So we have to go to the left side in X axis, right? So four and uh, this one is minus seven. You have to go to the lower part, lower side. One, two, three, four and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is here, right? Now two and five. So how to plot this point is very easy. One, two and five is a uh, uh, ordinary is a positive. So one, two, three, four, five, just place here. And two comma five. Now we have to add this point. That means we'll join this point. So what will be? We will get a straight line, right? So same way we will plot this the second table. 3, 0, uh, 4 minus so, so 3, 0 is here, 3, uh, the 1, 2, 3, this one, and y, that means ordinary is 0, so don't go the up and lower side, and minus 4 and 7 already you have placed in the table of first, minus 4 and 7, that means this one is also same, this point, second point, and third point, 5 and 2, this one is 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2, 1, 2 is here, it's very easy, right? So one, two, so now join this point. Then we'll get a straight line. Now we'll write uh, some description. Let two mutually perpendicular lines, X O X prime and Y O Y prime. This one is prime, B X axis and Y axis respectively with, with O as the origin and let the length of a side of the smallest square of both axes be a unit. That means I have taken already that suppose when you get three, uh, I have uh, I have taken the three squares. So a unit. So now plot this point, uh, obtain the table one and join them successfully or we get a straight line in the graph already we have got this one. Uh, again, we plot the second table obtained in table two and join them. So actually we get a straight line in the graph. And we observe that two straight line intersect each other at the point minus four and minus seven, right? This one. And this point value of two X plus one and X minus three are equal because this straight line intersect at this point. So this point the solution of this given equation is the abscissa. So here, which one is abscissa here? The abscissa will be minus four. So we can write that is x is equal to minus four. The required solution is x is equal to minus four. So now 14 number, lay the length of three sides of triangular x plus two centimeter, x plus four centimeter, and x plus six centimeter. And here given the x greater than zero and the perimeter of triangle is 18 centimeter. And a number question, draw a proportional figure by the given condition and solve by forming equation, draw the graphs of the solution. Now let's solve this first number, a number. Solution of A. So here given the given the length of three side of triangle x plus two, x plus four, and x plus six centimeter respectively. But here given x greater than zero. That means the value we have to take one, two, three, four, five, whatever. But we will try it proportional figure. So that means here given zero, that means x greater than zero. That means don't take the value of x is one. Uh, don't take the value of x is zero more than zero you have to take if i take one it will be three it will be five it will be seven so like this way so suppose i have taken this according to the question uh, we can take this one the value of x plus two is this one suppose i have taken two x the value of x is two so it will be two two or four two plus two is four so the same the second one so it will be six so i have taken this one six centimeter and this one will be eight centimeters. So like this way, we have to draw this triangle. Okay, by using compass, you can draw it very easily, just whatever you can check this lens, but more than zero. So then uh, B number, solution according to the question, that means uh, in this question here given, in this question here given this one, the length of three side of triangle are this one. This this three side x plus two x plus four and x plus six. 
and here given also the perimeter of the triangle is 18 meters so you know the perimeter of triangle is 18 meter the sum of three side right sum of three side is equal to perimeter so according to the question you can write the sum of three side is equal to 18 because sum of three side is first side second side third side is equal to 18. we know the perimeter is equal to sum of three side of triangle this is the formula and so just remove this bracket x plus 2 x plus 4 x plus is equal to 18 then uh, how many x are there 3x and 4 6 14 and 212 so 3x is uh, 18 and 12 we will take in that so it will be minus and by transposition of this one uh, 3x is equal to 6 then divide by uh, 3 on both sides so it will be x is equal to 2 so we can solution x is equal to 2 so now we have to solve this one is x is equal to 2 now uh, by using graph again we have to show this one this uh, math uh, solution x is equal to 2 so by using graph now so from uh, solution of c from b we get x is equal to 2 so x minus 2 is equal to 0 so the previous math already we have solved the taking some different value of x first we will take different value of x and we will find the corresponding value of x minus 2 but here is only one part and make table 1 only so first we will uh, place x and x minus 2 here so x comma x minus 2 so please take any value uh, suppose i have taken the value of x is 2 and it will be 2 minus 2 it will be 0 so 2 comma 0 so if i take 4 so 4 minus 2 it will be 2 and 4 comma 2 and if i take the value of minus 2 so it will be minus 2 minus uh, minus 2 it will be minus 4 so minus 2 and minus 4 now uh, this point we have to place in the graph paper okay now graph paper uh, we know first we have to draw this uh, horizontal and vertical line x o x prime and y o y prime and uh, now these three points we have to plot in this point so uh, i have uh, written in in your copy you have to write this one the two mutually perpendicular lines x o x prime and y o y prime be respectively x x and y axis and o be the origin and on the graph paper taking the length of one side of the smallest square on both axes e as a unit that means these two so we have to go to the two square box if it is four four square box like this we have to take this one so now we will place this point two zero so here is two that means fc is two so uh, one two and this one is a positive so we have to go to the right side and uh, ordinary is zero so don't go the upper and lower path so we have to place here the four to the next point is four two so this one is also plus so one two three four and two is also plus so both one is plus so we have to go to the first quadrant right so one two here Four two. and the third point is minus two and minus four so minus two is here in x axis the in the in the left side you have to go right so minus two one two and minus four that means uh, in y axis uh, you have to go to the lower part so one two three four this one now we have to join this point whatever we will get that one is the straight line right and now plot this point this obtain the interval and join them successfully or successively and we get a straight line in graph in the graph and uh, we can write here this straight line intersect x axis in 2 comma 0 this point uh, intersect with this suppose suppose intersect like this suppose this is straight line if it is here like this so at the time one two three uh, this straight line intersect in x axis which, which point one two three four okay in four so it will be the answer will be x is equal to minus four because and when intersect any line in x axis always y will be zero and when y axis intersect okay in y axis any straight line intersect at that time x x will be zero the value of x will be zero so the so the we can write this required solution will be two now we'll ask some question what is graph already have learned this one and also you can write this one uh, what is plot the point on a graph paper a 3 comma 5 b 3 comma minus 5 comma and c the value of c is minus 2 and 0 
then join the points and tell the name of this figure and everyone uh, in a graph paper just uh, plot this point and join the points then whatever you will get maybe triangle